Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I got Max and the Magic Marker as part of the Indie Royale New Year's Bundle. Max and the Magic Marker comes to us from Danish game development studio Press Play, and it normally retails for $20? Wow. Has American currency devalued that much in the market that this game costs $20? Ugh. Oh. Alright, but... Let's put that aside. Let's move on. Uh, Max and the Magic Marker was originally developed for the Wii under the WiiWare program, and it has since been ported to every imaginable device that can play a game. Of course, it's on the PC. It's also on the Windows 7 phone, the Android platform, tablet and phone, and the iOS platform uh, phone and pad. Uh, pretty much, if you can manipulate it with your finger, you can probably get Max and the Magic Marker for it. Um, although, right off the top of my head, I can think about a couple of things that I manipulate with my finger that I probably can't play Max and the Magic Marker on, but that's besides the point, so uh, let's move on. <laughs> this is a 2D platformer mashed together with a drawing physics game, and uh, that should bring to mind Crayon Physics Deluxe. Uh, I did a video for that quite some time ago on the channel as part of the Humble Bundle, uh, number three, I think it was. How do they do it? How do they pull it off? Does it work? Does it feel smashed together in an inappropriate way? Well, let's find out. So we're going to start out with Ole, 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 which is uh, just a nice level right outside of the tutorial that lets you see a lot of the different aspects of what the game allows you to do with the platforming and drawing mechanic. So uh, here we go. Every level starts out with uh, this. This is Max's drawing. He has drawn this scene, and you are encouraged to press spacebar, and when you do, you're going to delve into Max's imagination and bring the drawing to life. The purple gentleman on the right is Mustachio, our villain, and it looks like he's poised to kick a soccer ball at us, so uh, let's try to stop him. Oh yeah. Ah, this little uh, bauble here is, uh, it's essentially just a, uh, a special item that you can collect throughout the levels. Uh, there are six on this level, there may be three on a level, two on a level, ten on a level, whatever. They're your little extra special thing that you can collect for a super cool bonus and probably some kind of achievement. So right away we're given the opportunity to uh, do a little magic markering if we want. Uh, we got a couple of things up here. We cannot make that jump up to that platform. So uh, start solving a problem. Different ways you can do it. Something like that. That would work. Uh, you could also just do something super simple like uh, just a little box to give yourself a boost. Cool. As you can see, you can pick up the ink after the fact, and uh, the game uh, takes about five minutes, well, it did for me, to get accustomed to the idea that you have this magic marker that roams around the screen and you're controlling the character uh, with your other hand. So uh, I don't know how this would play out on a console. I thought about hooking up my, uh, hooking, hooking my Xbox controller in, but uh, I didn't, so I got nothing for you on that. Uh-huh. So you're often given uh, hints as to how to solve a particular puzzle. Now, uh, we could probably de uh, devise some method to get up this uh, cliff here, but it's encouraging us to do a little surfing. And this will give me an opportunity to show you the, uh, the imagination uh, to drawing mechanic that you can do. So we started out as a drawing, and then we went into Max's imagination. Well, we can do the reverse. Let's do that right now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Boom. Now we're back into the picture, and this is essentially just a stop time mechanic. It's just a way for you to draw something more complex, or draw something that you would need to draw in a very quick time. It's a cool mechanic that they put in because it means that they can expand the way that they ask you to solve puzzles. So in this case, we're going to surf it, so let's uh, draw ourselves a little surfboard, and uh, let's try to surf it up. There we go. We made it little box here. Now we can push this box in typical platform style. We could have also drawn some steps or whatever we, we wanted to do in order to get up this. That's the cool thing about this game. It gives you choices. Do what you want to do. So long as you got ink in your pen, you, uh, you're you pretty much welcome to do almost anything. Unfortunately, Mustachio shows up to steal the ink from our pen, and that's going to happen every checkpoint. He's going to come along and he's going to steal your ink, and that's really just their way of making these little ink bubbles uh, valuable. And it's also their way of limiting the complexity with, with which you can draw. Um, 
Every puzzle would be fairly easy if you had a full pen, but when they restrict your flow of ink, it means that uh, you have to think a little bit more. So in this case, this is a classic of physics games. It's a seesaw. Nice and easy, pop ourselves up. There we go. I'm gonna grab that right there. Uh, always make sure to grab your leftovers if you can, because you never know when you're gonna need that ink. Uh, so, oh, we got ourselves a little uh, little bauble down here. Do we want to go for it? Sure, why not? Uh, what can we do? Are there different uh, possibilities? Sure, different ways we could solve this. Of course there are. We could uh, do some kind of a little stair step thing here, maybe. Sure, let's try that. A uh, little bit too, a little bit too tall. There we go. Fix that. And there we go. Nice. Simple. Easy. And you could see that ability to pop back out to a drawing meant that I could correct my mistake uh, with very little danger to max. So every level you can see I'm collecting these sort of little light things. They look like sort of atoms. <laughs> um, not really sure why. I guess their ideas, their imagination, their, you know, the power of a child's wonderful thought process. I, I, it's something. It's its score. It's coins. It's a ring. It's whatever. It's some way that you're keeping score. All right, I'll do a little more drawing here. Uh, this is a cool mechanic that I can show you real quick. Actually, would like to draw something that makes sense. Uh, so you can... You can uh, you can combine things. So if we draw through this line, these have now been combined. So it's not going to uh, it's not going to rely on the same types of physics as if, if it wasn't attached. So it's really cool. It's a really cool idea, and uh, it really makes a difference. Damn, mustachio stealing my freaking. Uh, it really makes a difference in uh, how you can build and what you can build later on in the game. Let's fill our pen back up, and we got some wheels here. Oh, looks like another chance to do some surfing. There we go. I left this behind, but I'll live with that. Let's go ahead and kill this little fella. You don't have to kill every enemy, but it's just satisfying. Just satisfying. All right, well, we got another Blackie up there. So, oh, that's the Blackie? That's racist. I don't, I don't know what to call them. I did... If you are African-American or dark-skinned in any way, I really didn't mean that to sound as racist as it uh, clearly uh, does, but uh, my apologies to you and to your people. Okay. Moving away from the racism, the blatant racism that is Big Dave is cheap. Oh, not going to make that jump, so uh, let's see if we can devise some kind of a... I don't know, little deal there. Yeah, that worked. Cool, super, and then that bastard mustachio stealing, stealing my ink every time. He's stealing my ink. So we're coming close to the end of this level, and we'll, we'll kind of wrap up our thoughts on the game as we wrap up this level. Uh, there isn't really a whole lot more to see. Uh, the game does do some interesting things with these mechanics, uh, but this is a pretty good evaluation for anybody out there who is wondering, is Max and the Magic Marker right for me? All right, we've got a little boat here, so let's uh, push that. Whoa! That didn't work out too well. All right. So, we got ink in our pen, and we're going to go back up here and collect these because they are, they are score, and we need our score, right? Here we go. Let's try this again with the boat. Not so hard this time. There we go. Now, I, I could build some kind of contraption, I suppose, attached to the boat, maybe. There we go. Solving problems with my orange magic marker. Ugh, mustachio. Every time, it's like I forget that he's going to do that. Oh, Lord. Okay, so uh, this game is its solid, you know. It, it is not... Um, it's not amazing. Uh, the, the physics uh, on the drawings are great. The uh, platforming is very solid. And all in all, 
I don't have a lot of complaints about the game. I, I think it's it's a good game. It 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 does what it uh, what it says it it will do. It does what you imagine it will do. Uh, it plays very much like a mashup between a physics based puzzler, uh, a physics based drawing puzzle game, and a two D puzzle platformer. Uh, no complaints there. I think all in all, it, it's a uh, it's. It's one of those games, man. If it wasn't $20, I would say go out and buy this game. Uh, but at $20, it's so hard to recommend um, to recommend this title. Um, I'm glad to have played it. Uh, I will probably play it a little bit more as time goes on. Uh, but man, I, I, I can't envision myself paying $20 for this. Uh, it, it's a fun distraction. Uh, I, I, I enjoy it. Uh, it. It has an innovative uh, concept. But man, it's it's steep. Twenty bucks is steep. Uh, just I have a hard time, hard time recommending this game at that price. So we'll just kind of hit the beginning of this level as we uh, wrap things up. So again, all in all, Max and the Magic Marker. It's interesting. It's fun. It's twenty dollars. Play the demo, try it out for yourself. I don't want to discourage anybody from buying it who might otherwise buy it. I like Press Play, reading through their blog entry uh, about the game, about the development of the uh, mobile versions. They clearly care about this game, and I don't know if it's just they care about it a little too much, and uh, they're pricing it at a price point which they think is fair, but the market may not necessarily agree. I mean, they're up against a lot of interesting and innovative 2D platform games out there that do things that are as interesting interesting is what Max and the Magic Marker does, and do it for a whole hell of a lot less. Um, yeah. Try it out, Max and the Magic Marker. I must say, I enjoy it. I like the game. I'm really, really glad that I got it as part of the New Year's Bundle. Uh, looking back on that now, the New Year's Bundle, man, Nuclear Dawn, which is a $20 game at the time, $25 game at the time, I think. Fractal, which is, I believe, $10. Super Crossfire is $5. And this game's $20. Bucks. Man, that was a heap ton of game for the price that you paid. And it is name your own price. So uh, I hope you guys got that New Year's bundle. If not, keep an eye on the Indie Royale. Desura and IndieGames.com really are putting together some great bundles. So uh, keep your eye out. Max and the Magic Marker, we enjoyed it. It was fun. You be the judge. Download the demo. Decide for yourself. I have been Big Dave. And as always, take it easy.